This episode is brought to you by Steelroot, a national leader in helping companies meet cybersecurity compliance requirements and prepare for CMMC. Their experienced team of engineers and consultants assist organizations of all sizes to implement and manage IT systems that meet the technical requirements in DFARS and CMMC. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of 123 CMMC. My name is Danny Mantilla, and I will be your host. And our guest today is Chris Goodrich. Hello, Chris. How are you? I'm doing fine, Dana. How are you doing? I'm doing great. And we have an exciting topic today. We are going to talk about inventory. So very important thing that people don't pay much uh, you know, attention to and don't realize what a big deal it is. So you're going to tell us why it is such a big deal. And our first question is, why is an accurate and maintained inventory important to a security program? Well, Dana, the assets form the basis for all data collection, right? So the assets themselves are important to, uh, you know, be inventoried, be identified and, and uh, housed within a system that uh, can then be utilized uh, for the protections to flow out from there. So not knowing what your assets are mm -hmm. uh, is, is a detriment to any protection program and security program in general. Mm -hmm. So uh, it, yeah, it, definitely vital to maintain yeah. that inventory. And also when employees leave, making sure that you get the devices back. I was just talking to somebody the other day that they realized that they had never been collecting uh, employees' laptops when they left. And there were 200 laptops that were out there in the hands of ex-employees. So I oh, think boy. that was very good. Yeah, yeah. no, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What should be considered when setting requirements on what to collect as part of your asset inventory? Well, CMMC does establish some baselines, right? But that's not necessarily everything or all inclusive of what you need to do. And you need to read into the details just a little bit in order to understand it properly. So uh, in addition to the hardware, software, firmware, and you know other components that make up the system and are residing within the CMMC boundary, uh, you do need to understand that uh, it's not just about the hard assets, it's about the configuration on those assets. Mm -hmm. So a good guideline to go by is the uh, NIST SP-800-128 uh, that is called out within the CMMC guideline under the uh, uh, discussion section. So that's where I'd start, uh, go through that document and, and as an organization, understand it uh, and apply it appropriately uh, within your business context. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that's good. There's a reference to that you can uh, start with there, too. So that is good to hear. All right. So how is the inventory used to support CMMC practices? There are a number of controls, or I guess I should say practices. This is a new nomenclature in the CMMC world, isn't it? Uh, that rely upon an asset inventory for their execution purposes. So if you don't have or collect that information up front, you're going to be failing not only on this control, I'm sorry, practice, I'm going to get used to it eventually, mm -hmm. but also a number of other practices. Uh, so it, this is vital. It, it is not um, just once and done, right? Each practice do not, I'm sorry, each practice does not exist in a vacuum. Mm -hmm. It's a collection of practices that uh, form the basis for protections. And, you know, sometimes people get overwhelmed with where, well, how am I going to find out, you know, what we have, what we don't have. And I suggest that the easiest thing is to start with an employee list and then just go through and say, okay, what does this person have? What are they using? How are they connecting? You know, and then you know, it doesn't mean you're going to get everything that way, but at least it's a good start and you'll start to the confidence and figuring out, okay, we can do this. We can keep track of an inventory. It's not as overwhelming as just saying to somebody who probably hasn't been tracking anything. Okay, we'll go get a list of everything. And like, wait, what? How do I do that? So, very important. Very, very important. Absolutely. This episode is brought to you by A3, a CMMC cloud-based collaborative environment for an organization seeking certification, otherwise known as an OSC, to build CMMC packages and share with a marketplace of consultant RPOs and assessor C3PAOs. All right, so our next one is what technologies are used to enhance and automate this process? Right, as you mentioned, you could certainly hand collect the information, keep it in a spreadsheet or even on a piece of paper, but that doesn't really serve you all that well. 
uh, especially when it comes to the other practices and configuration management and establishing those baselines. So there are technologies out there that can be used to uh, go out there on your network and discover these assets for you. And we're not just talking about the assets in general or the software packages, but we're also talking about the actual individual configuration items within those assets. So a, a couple of good products to look at uh, on your journey are CMDB, uh, which is configuration management database engines. That's an automation process. Uh, a couple of products that uh, I've used uh, just in my home lab here for a mom and pop shop might be Land Sweeper. Uh, could be, uh, I think it's called Deep, I, I can't think of that one, but uh, uh, Manage Engine is another good product too. So those two products combined uh, form the basis of my home network here. Uh, going forward, I'm going to be <laughs> using those. Uh, so, uh, but the those two products are just a highlight, a, a taste, if you will, uh, of the product depth. CMDB is no stranger to the field and, and to organizations in general. Um, there's a there's a wide breadth and depth in this industry already. So uh, if you're big enough, you could consume a product such as ServiceNow and, and really get into detailed uh, functionality. Uh, this will also lead to uh, more in-depth configuration on your system, automated configuration, automated deployment of packages and configurations. So as you see, you can leverage technology uh, to enhance and automate the process of both collection and dissemination of controls. And like you said, when uh, somebody leaves your organization, uh, if you connect it to your HR database, you can understand what assets they have and be able to collect them right out the door. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then by that, that's awesome, that software that will kind of tell you, okay, this is everything you have that's connected in here. And then by labeling it and associating it with if it is something that's with an employee, and then making sure that your your um, exit strategy when an employee is leaving, whatever, can somehow tie back so you know that, because if you're just looking at an active, it's still connected and it's active, but you don't know that that employee doesn't work there anymore, then that's not good. But that's great software that you were just mentioning. So people should take advantage of that to help figure out what is on their network. So that's, that's really good. Yeah. So is there anything else you want to throw out there? We don't have any more specific questions here, but anything else you want to talk about when it comes to inventory? Well, inventory is is what I consider the baseline uh, that an organization needs to achieve almost right away. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, in in the whole security stack, so to speak, uh, inventory forms the heart and the soul of an organization. Uh, without knowing what you have, how can you protect it? That that that, that question right there uh, forms the basis and and is the vital question. Mm -hmm. to, to ask yourself and, and to solve for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then after you get that all squared away, then you can go do a data inventory and figure out, you know, what data yeah. do we have and where is it? How is it being stored? That kind of thing. But this is a good, a very good, like you said, baseline uh, way to start getting your hands around what's going on with, uh, yes. with your devices. So that's Absolutely. really, really good. All right. All right. Well, thank you very, very much for your time and all your awesome um, knowledge. That was great that those software products exist and that you mentioned them in here so people can go and look them up and find out what's on their network and start there. So that was really, really good. So thank you very much for your time, Chris. I appreciate it. And thank you, everybody, for listening. And we'll see you around on the next uh, episode, hopefully. Bye-bye. Right. See ya.